Hey everyone, welcome to Act 2 Philly on DMTV. I'm your host, Devon King, and today we're going to have an incredible show for you. But before we jump in it, I want you to get over to YouTube and subscribe to Ducor Media. Check out our previous videos. Drop a like and a comment. We would love to hear what you have to say. So while you do that, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Hey everyone, welcome to Act 2 Philly on DMTV. I'm your host, Devon King, and today we're going to have an incredible show. We have artist, music producer, Jimmy Guap on the scene, and we're going to get into it. Welcome to the show, brother. Appreciate you having me, brother. Absolutely. So, I mean, tell us something about yourself. Where you from? Well, I'm from North, North Philly, Uptown. I claim Uptown, too. I spend both of my times in between. You know, mom from one side, my pop from the other side, so I spend both times in both neighborhoods. Okay, so you playing both sides of the field. <laughs> but, both uh, sides of the field. I mean, but when you usually when you tell people where you're from, what you say first? You say up top, what? Man, I'm from Philly, period, Philly. man. Yeah, I work the is. brand, man. More that's, business for longevity. Man. That's what it is, man. So um <clears throat> tell us something about yourself, man. What was it like growing up as Lord Jimmy before you came? <clears throat> man, it was cool. It was cool to me, man. I had I had Great fam, you know, nothing too rough. You know, we had some hard times, but I had a supportive cast, so, you know, Absolutely. life was cool. You know, we moved to the county, like middle school, elementary school. Like, okay. fifth, fourth, fifth grade, I moved to the county with my mom and shit. So I went there, like, middle school and high school. That's where I uh, got my craft with the music. That's where I met my gang. Okay. And we got shit rock. All right, okay. So, uh... I mean, as time progressed, like, how did you get into this whole music thing? You say you moved to the county, you got into the music, but what caused it? It was something that, like, a family member that was a music artist, or you just woke up one day, you just wanted to be, like, how did it come about? Nah, I ain't come from, a, like, a music background. Like, my uncle, he was a singer and shit. You know, he did, like, plays. He sung in plays and choirs and shit like that, but I ain't really have a music background. It was just that I, I was... I grew up in the 90s, so, you know, that was, like, the golden era of music. Okay. You know? Oh, 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 oh. The 90s was the golden age of music. Oh, yeah. Man, man. I look back. <laughs> I so don't which, know which about all that. What you want to say, the 80s? I'm just saying the 80s, man. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, but, that I mean that's what you if that was your time, you, you grew up in the <laughs> 80s, up, I grew up in the 90s. Aren't y'all sampling our beats? Yeah, but, you know, we, we made them better a little bit. I don't know. It was oh, okay. great. It's oh. great music from every era. <laughs> I ain't, don't, don't get it fucked up, but, you okay. know, like, as far as hip-hop, I just feel like the '90s was 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 the golden era of hip hop. It was the golden era of R and B music. Okay. I just feel like it was a lot of feel good music. But you know, I was still young in the '90s, so. Okay. I might have been listening to things I wasn't supposed to be listening to. So right. you know, when the still 2000 right. came, okay. <laughs> I was raised in the 2000s, so you know that was the time when it was like Rockefeller, Rough Riders, right. Murder Inc., Bad Boy, No Limit, Cash Money. Everybody was running in teams and shit like that, and they was consistently dropping music as a as a unit, okay. and that was like that feel good music. So I was just a fan of music, man. I used okay. to always be in the mirror, just like just reciting other niggas' raps and shit, like That's like I was man. performing, and I knew like I wanted to do music, I wanted to entertain, I just wanted to be in front of a camera. So that's how all that shit came to about. Okay, that's what it is. So when did you first like the first time you was actually able to get into a, a professional? Uh, setting to record music or would you like recording on your phone replaying it or like how did that work out because i know you know when all the whole music thing was popping when i was coming up we would just like listen to it on recordings with a beat in the background you know just playing around or whatever but no see i had um it was probably my freshman year high school okay you know what i'm saying a uh, group of friends i was dealing with they had like a studio in the attic Okay. So just like when we take it back, like they had like the skinny mic. You remember the little skinny mic? Yeah, drink? I know what you talking about. They had that joint. They had the little <laughs> system on their desktop, and we used to be just recording. Okay. That's like back when MySpace was popping and shit. Yeah. We was just recording music, and then eventually we started getting the songs formulated, and I think me and my man we did like this song on the Uchi Wiley beat. Oh, yo, that beat fire. <laughs> we, uh, well, we made it a song, so like we put it on MySpace and. Like that shit went past like thirty, forty thousand. So like, what? 
like thirty thousand, like my yeah. on my space, like so you couldn't tell us nothing at that time. Wow. Like now I know I want to be a rapper. Like I can make a <laughs> song. Like you can't tell me shit. So it just went from just trying to formulate songs and trying to perfect my craft. You know. Okay. Niggas seen the potential since I was a young nigga, but you know. No doubt. Time went by. We were just recording. We didn't really drop like no projects in high school. We just kept recording, recording. I ain't dropped my first project so. I was at the, at the high school, so like my first project that was like 2011. What's the name of that project? Yeah, shit too easy, volume one. Got a music video to that? No, I don't got no music videos. That was just okay. a straight like, put the project together on that piff. Okay. You know what I mean? I was promoting that. I had the songs rocking. Everybody was rocking with me, and then consistently we was just dropping group project, solo project. Then my cousin was next. He dropped this project. Okay. My other cousin was next. Like we was moving as a unit. That's what's up. Now, y'all with y'all split up now? You just doing your own thing? Or no, like, first, I rapping? said my cousins, though, that's blood. Like, we ain't okay. gonna never split up. It's just that, you know, when it, when niggas become, you know, adults, they got, they lie, they, right. like they got to deal with. They got some serious priorities to yeah, take care so of. Yeah, so, you know, like, he might had to take care of his business, he had to take care of his business, and, you know, the older we get, the more, you know, the more life yeah. shit that happens, so rap wasn't everybody main focus. Right. You gotta have a passion for it, man. With this right. entertainment, I mean, a lot of guys, we grew up, and we was doing it, but it's like, you know who really had that passion because they still doing it today. They trying to make it pop. <clears throat> they ain't already made it pop. So. Yeah. But yeah, man, that's that's what's up. So um, <clears throat> aside from that, uh, I actually seen a video on YouTube I came across and I believe it was in 20, uh, 2015. Um, I think it was called... Uh, Jealous, uh, jealous, envy, jealous, jealous one, jealous envy. one envy. That was my, yeah. that was my last full, full length project. In twenty fifteen, though. In so 20, why, 2015. why such a long gap between then and, and and now for the new project you're getting ready to drop? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> like I said, man, 2015, 20, like 2014, 2015, You know, just dealing with everyday struggles, man. Like you know, life was hitting me. I was like a single father, two girls. Um, okay. I was just getting out of college, you know, just working, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. every, every shit, like, everybody got to deal with, and I couldn't put music first. Gotcha. So, you know, that was difficult because, like I said, that was a passion. You know, I was okay. always doing music, so I was always recording. I never stopped recording, but, you know, as far as just putting visuals out and getting right. the marketing right and, you know, putting the money behind the brand, that wasn't my main focus because I couldn't really focus on that. So gotcha. I had to fall back from it a little bit. So when I dropped Jealous One Envy, it didn't really get the push that it needed. It, okay. it just was released. And after that, shit just started to die down. Right. But, you know, they always say it's good to, whether it's hitting or not, whether people picking up on it, but it's always good to just keep putting out that work, keep putting out that work. You know what I mean? Whether Absolutely, it's visual I, you know, I definitely, audio. Absolutely, because I definitely had the core who stayed in touch. Like, yo, what's going <clears> on? <throat> what you dropping next? Boom, boom, boom. And that kept me motivated to just stay in the studio because you never know when your time was coming. You know what I'm Absolutely. Saying? So that's why I, I, never st I never stayed out the studio. That's what it is. Never. Consistency is key. But you touched on something, man. A lot of people, you know, who do music and things or just in the entertainment business, a lot of people don't think that people don't go to college and things like that. But you mentioned you went to college, man. You want to want to talk on that? What you yeah, went to college fuck, for? Yeah, I went to, I went to college for uh, marketing, for business. So, oh, really? Yeah, so, you know, you know, like I said, we had a little tough times at the end of high school. and I ain't really had no plan. Okay. I just, it was just, you know, I just want to be a rapper. I'm like, you know, okay. I ain't going to hold you. Like, my mom, she the trillist, and she was like, nigga, you better, if you want to rap, that's cool, but you better have something else to fall back on. You dig what I'm saying? Plan B, so, man. That's a lot of niggas don't believe in playing B's because they feel like it's going to up they playing A. Right. And I respect that, like, I mean, to a certain extent, but, like, you got to have multiple incomes. You got to have multiple Absolutely. skills and et cetera. So, you know, I went on a, um, Business I marketing. Right. I think I went on a little college tour. Okay. And just all the females I seen on that college tour. I'm like, yo, mom, you're right. Um, that's, that's where I'm going. I'm like, I'm coming. I'm going to college. You know what I'm saying? We got that out the way, man. I got the degree. Okay. That's so, what's up, So man. moms can put that on the wall. You feel me? You hear that, man? Uh, and a music artist, any intelligent? Look, man. You got to check this kid out, man. He doing things. So, uh... <clears throat> So we, we talked about the Jealous One Envy, and uh, right. what, what are you working on now as far as music? Um, I know you're getting ready to, you know, you're getting ready to drop the album, mm -hmm. but you know what? There's this one uh, video I saw called Hunt It, man. That that thing was fire. 
Yeah, that, right, that you, was the you, main. That was the main single of Jealous Ones. Then we had that, Hunted, that was the main. Had, okay. Yeah, we had Hunted, and then we had Heard About Me. Okay. So that was my two main singles off of Jealous Ones. Okay. So sure. like, how did that come about? Like, what what made you write a song like that? Well, Joe's one Zimby, it, it was supposed to be like the, the victory lap. You dig what I'm saying? During that time. Okay. But, you know, I, I hit rough stages. So, you know, I was just, I was hung, I was still hungry and I was just running beats. You know what I mean? It ain't nothing to make a song. Like, so I was just fucking shit up. And my niggas was like, yo, you ran this joint. Like, this this the <laughs> one. So, you know, we shot a video for that. We went to different parts of the city. We was on the north side. We was okay. down, we was down Frankfurt. Um, it was yeah. in Frankfurt, the kids were one of them. We was down there. We was just mobbing through the city. We was down southwest. We was just through different neighborhoods. We was just shooting videos. That's what it is, man. You we truly feel it, party. man. You in everybody hood. Yeah. Look, look, man, you mind if we get into the video then? Yeah, fuck yeah. Let's get it. Check us out. Major gang, nigga. Major gang, nigga. Uh, uh, I got a hundred guns, guns and a hundred clips, clips, clips. And my niggas ain't free to let it rip, nigga. I got a hundred dubs, blow it like in a shit, shit, shit. Get it back and do it all over again, nigga. I got a hundred problems, not one about a bitch, bitch, bitch. Hey, baby, who you think you dealing with? Everything, nigga, I do a hundred, hundred, hundred percent. Set, set. Major niggas, we really bout this shit I'm smoking Cubans on the yacht Feel like I'm walking on water Come from pushing costs in the lot Minimum wage for slaughter I'm Jimmy Mack to them bitches Karma just gave me two daughters Ain't nothing flaw, ain't nothing fraud See the real of my aura I don't fuss about the struggle Someone else had it poor But I'ma hustle, make double And I'ma stunt like I'm Jordan My mind doing the fortune What a nigga saying ain't important These rap niggas, I'ma eat up Yeah, I'm about to stick my fork in Rubber bands, paper bags We getting larger amounts Like what I see, I swear the visa charges to my account Close shit from Europe, rockin' fabrics you can't even pronounce If Jimmy there, the major niggas, major bitches come out Fresh all they got from the islands, we taking trips out to Vegas Was just in D.C. with Reggie, ride around getting faded My buds cooking flow hot, I don't think I'd be extinguished If the deal don't clue seven digits, you ain't speaking my language I got a hundred guns, guns and a hundred clips, clips, clips And my niggas ain't afraid to let it rip, nigga I got a hundred dubs, blow it like in a shit Shit, shit, get it back and do it all over again, nigga. I got a hundred problems, not one about a bitch, bitch, bitch. Hey, baby, who you think you dealing with? Everything, nigga, I do a hundred, hundred, hundred percent. Set, set, major niggas, we really bout this shit. Every nigga claiming they real need them to define that term. You screaming loyalty, be about it and live by that word. You still rocking with that rat. Some niggas got that nerve. We want your whole click, no pics, we bout that purge. Bad money, you can postpone. Funny how I outgrown. Every nigga you thought would do it right, I watched them do it wrong. You young minded, but just talk grown. Imitate what you hear up on these damn songs. I'm like, damn, my nigga. Back in the day, you was the man, my nigga. Now you looking sad, asking for change, my nigga. Know how it get, shit get dark, bruh. But karma is the bitch, you shitting on niggas when you was up, bruh. I'm major game flexing, major game repping. Coming for that top spot, ain't satisfied with second. You would've think it was Chris, is how I'm giving stage presence. Niggas bleed, how I bleed. I'm major game wrecking, nigga. Honey guns, guns and a hundred clips, clips, clips. And my niggas ain't afraid to let it rip, nigga. I got a hundred dubs, blow it like in a shit. Shit, shit, get it back and do it all over again, nigga. I got a hundred problems, not one about a bitch, bitch, bitch. Hey, baby, who you think you dealing with? Everything, nigga, I do a hundred, hundred, hundred percent. Set, set, major niggas, we really bout this shit. There you have it. You just seen the video, hundred. You know, he was, you were all over the city with that, man. Like, oh, yeah. Everywhere like broken glass, man. You already know, man. He might be in a, he might be in a hood near you shooting a music video. But yeah, man, uh that's let's talk about this this album you got, man. Remember I told you. Remember I told you, man. This yeah. this is a statement, man. This is a reminder to let people know this is what I do, man. Uh, okay. I'm an artist, you know. I got everything on there, man. I got shit for the streets. 
I got some you could bounce to. I got I got stuff for the ladies. I got plenty of song for the ladies. Okay. Um, you know we fucking with the with the, like, the melodies a little bit. Like we doing you everything. You sing it? You know what I mean, we doing a little <laughs> something like. You know what I mean? Oh man, he <laughs> jaw ruling, man. What's going on? We, we doing the, a whoa, little whoa, something. Whoa, and then, you know we 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 got stuff for the dancers. You know what I mean? Get the, the, get the club popping, the strippers. You popping. gotta have that. And you, you say, gotta you have the new one, so you you know how we coming. Yeah, we definitely so gonna got, drop I got everything, man. When you listen to it, you're not gonna hear one sound okay you're gonna see me going plenty different directions and this tape was really just to let you know like i'm an artist like i i, I do good music i can release good music okay and, you know it's just setting me up and it's just leading for the next things that's coming and okay. we got a lot more coming for sure so for, but the title though remember i told you so like I, you gotta elaborate on why that why that title though i, I mean because cause you, you know my, my, la my last project was 2015 so mm -hmm. you know in in that gap from 2015 to 2019, I was hardly dropping music. I mean, okay. maybe songs from here and there, freestyles from here and there. And, you know, people that believed in me, I ain't going to say they doubted me, but, you know, they okay. might have been, been questioning you. Like, damn, like, why he not releasing music? You know, I ain't really expressed my personal business, so they don't know what's going on with me. Right. They just looking from the outside, like, he ain't releasing no new music. Maybe he ain't fucking with the music no more. I bounce back with the visuals. I'm gonna bounce back with this fire ass project, and they're gonna be like, "Why?" You know? Okay. He did say it. So, okay. You know, so how many tracks on this album, man? We got eleven. I chose eleven from like 33, 34 songs. I chose eleven. So it's eleven so project. Not this, too long. Okay, but on the album, like, what what more sound is taking? Is it like more trap? Is it more? You know what I mean? What, what's the sound? It's, what's the it's sound? Gonna, it's gonna I know be, it's a mixture, but yeah, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna start off hard, like okay, boom, like so he just on some arrogant arrogant <laughs> shit. So it's gonna start off hard. Then we are gonna switch it up. We are gonna take it to like the radio hits. Then it's gonna go into the ones for the ladies. We are gonna bounce okay. back to the bounce. We are gonna end with some street bangers, and then and then yeah, it's gonna end like that, man. And then okay. it got a little bit of everything, so it's gonna flow right in, you know. Right, well, you're, not, you're not gonna hear the same nothing. I promise you that. Promise okay, you. I like that, man. I like to have Alvin do. Is any? Are you doing any skits on here? Do people do any skits anymore in that? In that? No, I ain't doing no <laughs> skits. I ain't doing no skits. Like we're I, going straight to music. You okay. Know, no freestyles. Like I mean, not doing no like industry beats. Like this all original music, man. This a this a project. Man. Okay. Okay. It's a project. And, and is a lot of this freestyle, or do you actually sit down and you write your stuff? No, nah, I, I write all. I write all my concepts. Yeah, um, man, because you got this. You got this one song um, that you actually dropped on a. a it was on a album for a series I'm in, mm -hmm. and it was called uh, Frenemies. Frenemies, man, that's Frenemies. my favorite song. Yeah, and I and, and <laughs> I really wanted to see a visual to that, but at this point, you probably not even gonna do it no more. But yeah, that was. Um, I mean, that song not old at all. Like, I, it's I, not. That <laughs> dropped, it dropped last year. It dropped 2019. Um, that was just in the middle of my recording process when I was recording. Remember, I told you. Like, um, Y'all gotta check that one. Yeah, out. I talk. I talked to folks. You know, I I ain't get to make season one. You know what I mean on the actors okay. tip, but he was like, I need some music. Okay. So you know, I um, I sent him a couple records over, and he said this is the one, and that's how Frenemies came about. I actually got okay. two songs on there. I got Frenemies and um. Right. Yeah, you and do. And stuff with John. Um, I can't. Nine to five ain't right. shipping maintained. Is that that's what it was nine or five? Man, or ship and maintain. I forget what the song is called. That's crazy. I forget my own shit. Yeah, but. man. We talk about the recession, the recession album, man. Yeah, the recession, man. Recession season too. one. Make sure you go see that. You know, make sure you get the soundtrack. But that's I had true. two cuts on there, and you know, I had Northside Mitch. He was on both of them tracks, actually. So you know, shout, okay. out, shout out to Northside Mitch. Okay, so like uh, any artist, any other artists in Philly, you want to give a shout out that you plan on working with, or you might want to work with. Like you want to tell them what's <clears> up. Like, man. I work with anybody as long as the vibe's right, but I'm only focused on myself at the moment. You know? Absolutely. I got my youngin, you know, Reese so crazy. He on the tape, you know, that's my favorite young boy out right now. Okay. His energy and his vibes, you know, it's unmatched. What's his know? IG? I mean, make sure you look him up. Reese so crazy. He on Instagram. Um, okay. Northside Mitch, you know, he on every project. I you know, know who that is, yeah. That's, that's blood right there. Uh, okay. I got, I got Juice Almighty on the project. And then um, I got Joe Rivers, of course. That was okay. my lead single for um, the tape. It was called Come See Me. We released that last year. And uh, make sure you look out for a video for that. That's coming as well. Awesome. So uh, you got this uh, music video you just dropped. Right. Magic. Magic. I mean, the visuals. 
um, the, 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 what you're saying in there, everything, it all went together, flowed just right. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's how did it just come about, man? man that's that, that? That's, that's that arrogance, man. That's that JG arrogance. Okay. Man. That's, that's the first song on the tape. So, you know, the tape, we, we coming off swinging. We coming off swinging. You know, I had to, uh, I actually had the tape, I had the tape finish, <clears throat> and we were supposed to drop on Black Friday. Okay. But um, we ain't drop it. And then I was just listening to it. I said, nah, I, I need something. Like, the first song I come out swing. Okay. So, Magic was the last song I recorded, and it's the first song on the tape. Yeah, that's and I said, And I said, now we done. <laughs> and I mean, wrap that up. Everything submitted. So, that is going to be everywhere. Apple Music, Tidal, Spotify, Google, Amazon, you know what I mean? iTunes, wherever you want to get it, you can get it. You can copy, you can stream it. Just run them numbers up, yeah. That's what it is. So when you shot this video, though, I mean, are, are you in a relationship or something? Am I in a relationship? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm in a relationship. So like, you had this uh this big booty chick in the video, man. Right, how do right, you like? Right. How your lady take that, man? I mean, wifey was there recording it, man. Uh, oh, why? Right. <laughs> wifey was oh, there. Oh yeah, you well, she do it, she do the producing and everything, right, so right. that's what so, it is. You know, okay. She, she, she had all the back behind the scenes footage for me. So. Okay. <laughs> she a thousand, man. That's you what know, it is, that's man. It's hard to find women like that that's gonna be like you know let you do your thing and ain't oh no we ain't gonna have that in the video you know it's rare man. That's what's up. We a thousand. So, uh, what, what's up with the whole acting thing, man? Because, you know, we worked on a project together, you know, Connect Four, and then you worked right. on some other uh, things. But uh, how did the acting come about? You know what, man? Like, I ain't going to hold you. The acting probably motivated me to, to drop more music, okay. to be honest with Visuals. you. Um, the acting came in between periods where I wasn't really releasing nothing. Okay. Um, I just seen the open cast, you know what I mean? Casting call. I just went to keep it a bean. Okay. I just went, you know. I did my thing. I'm assuming and I got the role, you know. That's where I met you and I met a, a lot of other people. That's you know, what we it got is. season one rolling. That that was a success. We got season two rolling and off of them, you know. I got offered other parts and stuff. So okay. that's how the acting came about. Okay, did you ever go to acting school? Nah. Self self taught? Or I, I, I actually had theater two? classes in college. That's that's oh. what's funny. Okay. I actually had theater. Uh, I had theater classes in college, so you know, okay. I did a little bit, but you know, this was more. It was new for me, so, so you, you know. like a Shakespeare kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it was a little new for me, so you know. Okay. When we got that done, you know, I did some plays. Everything good, man. All right, so well, twenty twenty, yeah. we got more projects on the way, man. That's what we're looking for. So uh, what we're gonna do is we actually gonna take a break. We're gonna get into this video, uh, Magic. Check it out. Man, look at my new video, man. Jimmy Guap Magic, man. Off the new project. Remember, I told you, dropping March 27th. You hear me? Then when you get the money, you get the power. Then when you get the power, then you get the war. That's why it's got to make your own move. Don't ignore the fact your bitch, she's still a fan. Still a fan. Little first bucket, send the pics in my DM. Yeah, my Fell off in high school, I'm still the man. man. Get rich and lit, nigga, that was part of the plan. Uh, uh, big boy guap, okay. flex on haters, flex on thots. Okay. MIA, uh -huh. reservation on big boy yachts. Yeah. Walk down college, in the same whip your favorite rapper guy. Yeah. You fuck around and slip trying to catch this drip. Uh, uh, Ex want me back, man, I saw the bitch you wish. wish. Baby mama might put her ass in the sticks. sticks. All my kids good, like nigga, where your kids? Like, where your kids nigga? Already know the answer, you ain't see your kid in years. Get my dog 30, man, that shit had me in ticks. Get it broke, that's the only thing that I fit. Uh, I ain't going broke, shit, I put that on my kids. Bank a couple mil, then I pass it down to my kin. Pull up, pull up, hop out, hop out, live free, live free, show up, show up, pull up, pull up, hop out, hop out, live free, live free, show up, show up. Hopped out that whip, looking like magic. Uh, Turn nothing to something just like magic. Uh, Disappear and popped up like magic. Thought it was over till I bounced back like magic. See me living, that's what you mad for mad me? Nigga, I'm same just like my passport Match. Still in the past, you need to fast for Trips to the clinic, cause you cuffing on that fast hole Dummy. Ain't no flaws in my rap what? No dirt up on my name what? Cloth ain't got no stains what? Got it off from the muscle, don't compare me to that lane, to that lane. Said I'm getting fast, she can tell that I ain't missing me Back on my savage yeah. shit, I'm chosen, ain't no accident yeah. Got me a boss, bitch, yeah. and let go of all my ratchet chips Once who fronted on me, got nothing on me Sheesh. Ain't screaming game, I can only depend on me 
Only nigga who won't switch up on me is me. So all that favor shit, man, I let the shit on E. Say free my guys, so my niggas are free. If you ain't one of us, then we text the niggas a fit. <laughs> hey, we was them young niggas looking up to the OGs, right? We still them young niggas, but now everybody looking up to us. One vision the king. Pull up, king. pull up, hop out, hop out, live free, live free, show up, show up. Pull up, pull up, hop out, hop out, live free, live free, show up, show up. Hopped out that whip, looking like magic. Turn nothing to something just like magic. Disappear and popped up like magic. Thought it was over till I bounced back like magic. There you have it. You just seen the music video Magic. He killing the game right now, man. The visual, everything was crazy. I like that whole scenery when you was under the bridge. You just could see that. What was that, Frankfurt? No, I was, I was, I was on like Gerard. I was on like Gerard, Tucker, okay. Gerard, some shit like that. Yeah, man, that scenery, man. That, them, them visuals, man. That, that's what grasped me into those videos, man. But uh, what you got going on for the rest of 2020, man? What's coming? We got remember I told you we're gonna push that. You know we're gonna push more visuals. You're gonna see a lot of visuals coming from. Me. Um, you know we got season three coming. Uh, season three of what? Connect four coming. Oh, what? Yeah, okay. I ain't gonna get too much. You know I'm gonna, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Red Hearts get into that. But is Ernest gonna have more lines you and stuff, man? Look, man <laughs> you gotta tell me you something, gotta man. Chop it up, chop it up with her, man. All right, but, that's you what know, it is. It's gonna be all music, all visuals. You gonna have me in some projects. Shout out to Pride too, man. We shot Pride the end of last year, so that should be coming this year. And what's well. Pride? It's a Pride. That's another. That's another web series, you know. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's another web series. So look out for that. Okay. Um, like I said, man, it's all groundwork. Twenty twenty, man. You gonna see my face a lot. You gonna see me more out and about places I need to be at. I'm gonna be there, man. Okay. Marketing, networking. You know what I mean? Well, that's what you went to school for. So absolutely, you know, you absolutely. That. So well, where can they get that? Where can they get the, the shirts and the, and, the, and, the, and the hoodies, We got man. the merch, man. Make sure you follow me, Jimmy Guap on Instagram, Jealous Ones Envy on Twitter, Jealous Ones Envy on Twitter, two Y's. Okay. And you could cop the merch from me. You know, we got the hoodies, we got the shirts, you want the sweatsuits, everything, man. The yeah, brand right here. Right there, yeah. More business for longevity, you, you know. Shout out know, to One man. Vision. You know, that's how we carrying it. So, remember I told you, man. I need that royal blue. You already know what it yes. is. If it ain't blue, it ain't true. That Nipsey but blue, man. You I got already you, man. know. <laughs> All right, man. So, uh, uh, it wouldn't be right uh, if you're on a show and, you know, you're a music artist. If uh, You got to tell me, man. What's your, your top five artists alive? <clears throat> My top five artists alive? Uh, shit. That's how I... <laughs> My top five all time first. We'll do that. You know, I got Big. Okay. I got Nas. Okay. Got DMX. I gotta throw beans in there. Oh yeah, you gotta do. You gotta put on for Philly, man. Come and on. Then, <laughs> then uh, for good, I, I'm man. A, no, I'm gonna get. I might get somebody from the south, man. Uh, you know, like that old tip, man. Tip, old yeah, tip. Old okay, tip. all right. All right, I can rock with that. Yeah, all right. Tip. Dead? Dead. Man, just Big and Pac, man. Big like, and Pac. That, that's, that's it. That was, that was my top, Big and Pac. Um, I don't know whatever artists we lost that, that was heavily influenced. I know Pun died, Big L died. Right. Yeah, I mean, I listened to them, but, you know, I was a huge Big fan. So, okay. you know, I was Big over a lot of them niggas. Okay. Um, but, yeah, man, who I listen to now, man, like, whoever I could just grasp to, man. You know, I listen to a lot of Boozy. The old Boosie? Boosie though. The Listen, old Boosie. when I first came to Philly uh -huh. and I was rocking Boosie, uh -huh. people be like, man, that sound whack. His voice and all. <laughs> I'm like, y'all don't know, man. See, like, it's a, like, like Baltimore, mm -hmm. Boosie, man, we love him. Like, straight up, man. Yeah, I love was Boosie. <laughs> like, I was a big, like, when, when yeah. Cash Money was coming up, I was a big BG fan. Really? Like, the old plies. Like, all that shit, man. Yeah, like, because, you know, like, in the 2000s, the South took over, so we was inspired a lot by the South, too. You know, Lil Wayne, you know, he inspired everybody. But, you know, like, I, I, I love the gutter music, man. So I was Plies and BG and Boozy, you know, that Tip. When Tip was Raw, right. you know, Ross, Jeezy, all of them. So, you know. Okay. Well, look, man, it wouldn't be right uh, if you came on the show, man. You're an artist. 
think you could uh, spit a spit a few balls for us? Of course, of course, of course. All right, well, let's head to the studio. All right, let's go. Let's try it out. You already on? You already know, my man said he gonna go ahead and spit a couple bars for us, so we in Ducor Media Studio. You already see, you see the logo, you know what I mean? So whenever you ready, bro, whenever you ready, hit that beat, man. You know how to use this. Yeah. Remember I told you, March 27th. <clears throat> look, hey look, I'm bad business. I'm bad business. I chase a check, you chase a bitch, oh yeah, we mad different. You go fuck with the wrong bitch, you up in mad clinics. You out here making bad decisions off this fast living. You getting exposed by the city, use a bad gimmick. Your dog and all the pick up your calls, you burning mad bridges. Loyalty is royalty, but it wouldn't pay no lawyer fee. Talking legal clip, be with stitches like embroideries. Part time hustler, smoke all the suppliers, you can't even supply the customer. Talking like the plug, you giving middleman numbers. About to heat up the winter, stay cool in the summer. I'm a fly motherfucker, move forward just to bounce back. Say it's all there, you best believe, bitch, I'ma count that. Snake tied in the grass, I probably get that. But a move like a bow or cut shit just like a weed bag. Ain't it feel like a head back, Nick Forty said they that. Uh, Connect for they see they need that. Connect for they see they need that. Connect for they see they need that. Okay, okay. There y'all have it right there. Straight freestyle, man. You can't just come in the studio and just do it. Like, you really gotta, you gotta, it's an art, man. You gotta really be born with it. Just gotta, or you gotta really learn how to do this. And he was born with it, clearly. But uh, yeah, man, we about to uh, get back in the studio, man. You killed that shit. Appreciate you, bro. All right, man. Follow us back to the studio. <sighs> man, you killed it, then, man. That was fire. Appreciate you. All right. All right, man. So uh, it was just an incredible show today. Man, tell the audience, man, where can they find you, you know what I mean, and where they can check in on you, grow with you, you know what I mean, and watch you progress, man. Man, follow me on Jimmy Guap on Instagram. That's my junk on Twitter. You can follow me at Jealous Ones Envy. That's Jealous, jealous then Ones, one S, Envy, with two Ys at the end. Jealous Ones Envy. That's my Twitter. Okay. And uh, any other, like, websites or anything? They can check um, it on? LongLiveCoolJames.com. I'm sorry, I'm tripping. That's my that's my website. LongLiveCoolJames.com. That's the website. Okay. You know, you want to send me beats, futures, Jimmy Guap music at gmail.com. You know, you want to send me films. I am James H Middleton the third at gmail.com. So. All right, there we'll you get it have all it. Done. Yeah. All right, well, you hit. Follow that man. Follow his story. Watch him grow. Man, I want to appreciate you coming on the show. You already know, you know what man. I mean. So, uh, till then. You know, stay tuned. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Act 2 Philly on DMTV. I'm your host. Now, that day we had an incredible show. We had the artists come through. Jimmy Guap, he killed the show. But uh, I want you to still get over to YouTube and subscribe to Ducor Media. Watch our previous video. Drop a like and a comment on this one. Let us know what you think. Also, follow me on Instagram and YouTube at Reels of King. That's R-E-E-L-S-O-F-K-I-N-G. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. Till next week, stay safe.